Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Got one I think that we can make some decent money on. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. We've hit the lock. Of the, we hit the lock again earlier this week on Tuesday on the Inway card. I'm going to give you guys another lock because that lock wasn't – it hit, but it was like minus 250 or minus 270. So I want to give you guys another one. This just wasn't a ton of money to make on that card. So I'm going to bring it back on this one. I'm going to make you guys some money. Uh, I'm going to make you money on, on this card as well. Uh, join the Patreon link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. It gets you locked in the week. It gets you all the updated perks. It gets you the updated props. It gets you asked to book anything. It gets you the absolute best boxing gambling advice that there is. Uh, so make sure to join the Patreon link. It's in the description. Also, uh, subscribe to the town Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, all, again, all research goes to autism. All, all proceeds go to Autism research and recovery. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. My, my brain is slipping. So today we got a good one for you. Christopher Guerrero, Courtney Pennington. Uh, this is Thursday night. This is on ESPN. It's one of those I the Tiger cards in Montreal. Christopher Guerrero, originally from Jalisco, Mexico, which is where Canelo comes from, now fights out of Montreal, Canada. This is going to be a good fight. He's fighting Courtney Pennington. We've seen Courtney Pennington in there with everyone. Uh, we, we saw him in there recently with Ra- Raul Curier. Uh, the Golden Boy fighter. Uh, we've seen him in with Cassio Clayton. We've seen him in with James Martin, James Metcalf. He beat Greg Vendetti at 154. Uh, we've seen him in with Charles Conwell. We've seen him in with a, a litany of Patrick Day. We've seen him in there with a litany of fighters. He's 17, 8, 3, and 1. He's now 37 years old. Look, obviously, he's a little bit past it at 37 years old, but he's still a pretty good fighter. Nice jab, moves well, uh, decent skills. You know, he knows how to fight. He knows how to handle himself in there. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. He just doesn't really fight to win, especially any any longer. So I don't know what to expect from him. Like, if he comes to fight, this could be an interesting fight for Christopher Guerrero, who we'll get into in a minute. He's a, he's a counter puncher, jabber. Doesn't really like to lead. He'll throw the jab out there, but he likes to counter. No power at all. Not super fast. Especially since he's aging, like I said, he he is 37, but he's a professional. He knows how to handle himself, and if he wants to go the distance, he probably can. He's a safety first technician. He fights. He, he nowadays he fights to survive. He's no longer fighting to win, but he's fighting to survive. He gets a paycheck, and he'll move on to the next one. Who he'll be used as an opponent again. He's gonna have a hard time winning rounds, right? Because he doesn't land big shots. He doesn't land a lot of shots. He doesn't throw a lot of shots, right? So it's just you know he's got to just jab and make you miss counter you know he's got to be really really selective and accurate with his shots and then not get hit because he's going to get out work he's going to get out punch and, he, and he's not the bigger hitter so he's not going to land the better he's not going to land you know the, the more effective shots and he's not going to land more shots he's not going to throw more he's got to be he's got to be accurate with what he lands and he's got to but it's just really difficult for a guy like that to win a bunch of rounds he doesn't have the power to really keep girl off of him so it's just gonna be it's a, a, a tough fight all around. He can survive, and I, I, my guess, my hunch is he goes the distance here. Who knows? But if he does come to fight, if he wants to win, if he comes to win, this he could make life difficult for Guerrero. Guerrero is a patient stalker. He stays behind a high guard, good pop. He's accurate with his power shots from the outside. He's pretty good from the outside. He throws hard. Really commits to his shots. He's not a high volume guy, but he's accurate with his shots, and he commits to his shots. He throws, he throws hard shots. His intention on his shots. He's not in there like Pennington, just looking to keep you away and just score with the jab. Decent athlete, decent movement. Not a great counter puncher, but you'll see how he tries to counter. It's something he's trying to develop. He winds up a little bit on his counters, and he can be tagged on him. Where he's really at his strength is on the outside. He's, he's really, really good on the outside. Now, he's going to try to put this fight on the inside because he's physically stronger and a bigger hitter than uh, Pennington, but you're going to see his flaws on the inside. He, he's not he's, – he's strong and he can do it on the inside, but ultimately that's not his strength. 
He's nothing really special. He's not dazzling. His speed is okay. He's strong. Uh, he's fundamentally okay offensively. He's nothing really special. I don't see a really top-notch talent here. I see a decent prospect who they're going to carry along and get to a big money fight, and then he'll probably lose, and he'll lose always at the highest level. He goes to the body well. He's not a bad fighter. I, I just don't see a world-level prospect in him. He's not good enough at any one area, and he's not good enough collectively. He does some things okay, but he has his, his flaws, and he's not super athletic. He's got good power, but he's not a huge hitter. He's got six knockouts, I, I believe, uh, in 11 wins. Is that right? Yeah. You know, he hasn't fought the stiffest competition. So his power is okay. It's not great. He can overwhelm you. He can snipe from the outside a little bit, but I don't really see him developing into a, a future world champ or, or anything like that. All right, let's take a look at the props, guys. I mean, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the eyes. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Unfortunately, there's no props. I would like to bet this fight to go the distance. I, I think Pennington can certainly survive. Uh, Christopher Guerrero, he survives tougher. So all we have here, this is a good fight to add to your parlay because Christopher Guerrero is going to win this fight. Uh, you, know, you can make this a two times bet. Guerrero is going to win. A uh, hundred dollar bet, two hundred dollar bet would make you twenty bucks. Ten dollars every hundred dollar bet you make, which isn't a tremendous amount of money, but it's safe. If you can get a prop for Guerrero, let me know what uh, a prop. The fight goes over. The prop goes the distance. Fight not to go the distance. If you get any props like that. Let me know. Let's go take a look at it on the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. We'll take a look at it. We'll make a ton of money on that. But for this, this is a good bet to, to add to your parlay. It's not a great fight to make a ton of money on. It's ten dollars every hundred dollars your bet. Two hundred dollar bet would make you twenty bucks. But it, it's it's pretty easy. You can help. You can use this to help bring down your parlay. Um, that's basically it. That's what we got here. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Um, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. We'll be doing a live stream shortly. We'll take a look at these props tonight. Uh, it is, what is it? It's September 4th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.